It's important to understand that a chromatographic process is a result of two competing processes in the column. That is differential migration, which is good, and band dispersion, which is not good. So this is a schematic of a separation. At the point where A and B are injected onto the column, they're on a, as a, a single peak, unresolved peak at the point of injection. But as mobile phase transports the compounds down the length of the column, the two peaks become resolved or separated as they interact differentially with the stationary phase. So at the same time they're migrating down the column, the solute molecules are spreading out. So at any point along the column, the bands then have a certain width and they're separated by a certain delta T sub R. So this is what we as column manufacturers focus on, ways to maximize the differential migration, the delta T sub R, and ways to minimize band dispersion, W. One interesting little tidbit you may want to note is that the distance between the bands, this delta T sub R, increases with the length traveled. It is proportionate to the length, while the width of each band is proportionate only to the square root of the length. So that means that the delta T sub R, the differential migration, will always be greater than the band dispersion. Were this not the case, then you would basically achieve nothing.